Hi everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. And so in this video, I want to talk to you about how you can protect your finances by giving them to God in this video. Okay, so I just want to share this with you guys. Um, we all know about, you know, giving it to God, giving it to God and, and you know, just trusting God with it. And so we try to do that, but a lot of times we don't know how to do that. We don't know what does that look like? How do we give everything to God? You know, how do we do that? I'm going to share with you a really cool revelation from my own experience, something that happened to me and um, how I learned to give my finances to God and um, to actually leave it there with him. So this is what happened. Um, with me being in deliverance and ministering to people that's, you know, always being attacked um, by witches, warlocks, occult members, and, you know, um, different things like that. And one of the things they will come and do is try to attack your finances. They have things that they can do to your finances in the spiritual realm that will tie them up, lock them up. They will do some things with it. So it was happening to me. They were attacking my finances. And so um, uh, the Lord actually was, you know, teaching me about um, how they attack my finances, how to get my finances removed, and how I can give my finances to Him and they will be protected. So I started doing that. I started giving my finances to God. And whenever I would start, when I would give my finances to God, the, the finances would flow really, you know, good. They would flow naturally and everything was taken care of. But then, you know, it would get cut off. And so then I would say, Lord, what's going on? I had to keep giving, you know, he said that they have my finances again. And so they had them tied up again. So I would have to get them back, give them back to the Lord so that they could be protected. So it kept happening. So I asked the Lord, I was like, Lord, what's happening? Why? Why isn't my finances staying protected with you? And so this is what he told me. He said that I keep taking the finances back from him. And so I said, okay, how am I taking it back? So this is what he told me. When I gave the finances to him, I gave my finances to him. It became his finances, basically. So whenever I went out and I took a dollar and I spent it somewhere or I got food without asking him first if I can use his finances to do that. What I did, I took the finances out of his care and I placed them back into my control. I started doing whatever I wanted to do with the money. I didn't ask him about, you know, if I can take this money to do anything. I took control over it. So when I took control over it, it came back into my hands. You know, so this is this is uh, something that um, I learned from God is that when we give something to him, we have to leave it with him and with your finances. You know, if you put your finances in his hands, when you spend a dollar, like every time I go to the store, I go to the grocery store, I spend anything now. I ask the Lord, Lord, is it OK if I spend this? And I hear him say yes. I've never heard him say no. I mean, if I'm going to start wasting money and throwing money away, you'll probably hear him say no. But if it's something you need things and you're asking him, I always hear him say yes. And so it's like that with every situation that you're dealing with in your life. When you put something in God's care, his hands, leave it there. It's his. If you take it back, it becomes yours again. It's not protected. The enemy can um, steal. He can steal it. He can do whatever he wants to do and then the people that work with him, they could attach it, they could attack it and, and have it locked up somewhere and then your finances aren't flowing, but it's for everything. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I apply this to my life now and um, my finances are protected. You know, if I forget to ask the Lord uh, about spending money first, I just repent and um, ask him to forgive me and then I give my finances back to him for him to keep it safe. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is uh, something that I do in my life. I hope it helps you where you can actually uh, give God your finances and give him other things in your life also and trust him to take care of it. And then whenever you're spending money, just ask him, um, you know, get his permission to spend his money because you gave it to him basically. And then, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll let you spend it, you know, he'll let you spend it all. 
but um but do it like that and you'll see a lot of things change in your life so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video god bless